G'day guys, Luke from Hitch. Well, this canning's about to go out tomorrow. We just wanted to give you a bit of a run through. It's got a couple of exciting features. Um, just want to give you a run through and what they are so you can see if you want to add them to your canning. So what we've got, we've got the Bush Company 270 XT Max. Great awning, nice freestanding. You've got all the walls that Velcro on just to give you a bit more protection. Up the front here, this trailer's on our level three airbag system. So what that gives you, big, bigger compressor. You get a tank but also you get the ability to pump up your trailer tires or your vehicle tires when you're off the beaten track. So that's all mounted up in here in the toolbox. But the big thing is, is around the back in the kitchen. So around the back in the kitchen, and one thing we've worked really, really hard on is moving away from gas. It's the way the world's going. It gives you the ability to be off grid longer. You're not worrying about gas. As long as you've got a lot of battery capacity and you're getting that solar in, you're gonna get your, your charge. So what we've done is, We've brought in the new Safery 2000 watt induction cooker. So what that gives you runs off the inverter. This one's running the Red Arc 2000 watt inverter and that's paired with the Red Arc TVMS system. So a really good electrical package. Gives you two elements that you can use for that induction cooking. So what this means is it doesn't matter what the weather conditions are going, those steaks are still gonna cook up nice and quick or boil the kettle. It's really clean lines. And then the good thing is there's no heat. So when you're done with it, you can just pack it away. It's all hardwired. So simple switch, turn it on, turn your inverter on, you're good to go. So on the driver's side, we still have the hot water system, which is a gas unit. We are trying some different options with the electric as well to make this a fully electric system, but stay tuned for that. That's why we've got the gas bottle still. So with this system, the gas bottles are only there for the hot water system. And with those two gas bottles, you've got weeks, months off grid just running the shower. So that's going to be hot water to your kitchen sink and also to your shower. Also what we've got on this side, we've got the two Darchi awnings. So we've got the Darchi two and a half meter by two and a half meter Eclipse. And that's paired with as well the Darchi Eclipse shower tent. So heaps of options there, but how you want to camp, a lot of protection, a lot of shelter. This particular customer, their son is going to sleep off this side, tent on top, got his own awning. Then at the front, we've put an additional jerry can holder on each side of the front toolbox. So you've got two jerry can holders as well, just giving you the further off range capability. So this customer's gonna use it as fuel. He's got more than enough water with 180 liters. He's got more than enough gas for his hot water system. He doesn't need any gas for his cooking. So that's gonna be for fuel, just so he can truly disappear for those long extended trips. Well, on this canning, we wanted to give a bit of run through on the electrics because it's pretty special. So we've got the Red Arc TVMS kit, which is the whole brains of the operation. That's paired through to a 2000 watt Red Arc sine wave inverter. And how we're making all that work is off our new Megalife 200 amp hour lithium batteries. Great battery, fit nice and snug in here as well. But with 200 amps of lithium, that's a lot of time off grid. Charge is really important. It doesn't matter how big a battery you've got, it's about getting the charge back in. We've paired it with a 200 watt solar panel on the roof, which is gonna pump in that power. We've seen huge amounts of power and it will replenish the, the batteries in a day. But if you need a bit more, you've obviously got your charging from your vehicle or you can plug 240 into it and then you'll get 30 amps. In here, we've got our Cruise Master Level 3 airbag suspension. So you can turn that system on, compress the primes up, and then you've got your tanks for leveling it left to right and vice versa. And you've also got your air outlet so you can pump up the tires on your trailer or your car. The screen for the TVMS system is around the back here in the kitchen. So you've got your screen here. Obviously we've got all our usual features, accessory sockets, USBs, power points, all the good stuff. But this screen here, as we've shown you before in our TVMS system, does all your switching for your lights, your water pumps, turns your inverter on and off, and all the other goodies. You've got your screen here that shows at the moment, so we're in the sun, we're getting seven amps of charge into the battery. So it's gonna really replenish that battery. Um, we're getting 100 watts. We've put in over 320 today and the battery's sitting at 13 volts. So you can really get to know your system, see what it's doing, which is really particular because on this trailer, we're running our new induction twin burner cooker. So one of the other cool features that this canning's got, and this is part of that constant evolution that we're doing here at Hitch Campers, is on the panel under the sink, you used to have two of these cam locks and that whole panel used to come out giving you access under there. What we've done, we've redesigned it. So now you've got one lock and it's on a hinge. 
So it just swings out, and then you've got access to your water pump, um, your filters. In this case, this is where the power point is for the induction cooker, so it's nice and accessible. Um, just a bit a lot simpler to use, a lot cleaner. Means you don't have to store it somewhere, and then it just locks up nicely and lock it back together.